Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 4 for the Game Boy. And we're gonna fail less this time and go after Charge Man, who, as a robot master, I despise second only to Dive Man in design. Uh, at least Dive Man just had the whole periscope and fin thing going on. Charge Man is just a big train stuck on a two legged body. Or a bipedal chassis for people that want me to sound more technical. Ow. Again, a stage that's similar but extremely different from its NES counterpart. We start at the top of the train instead of at the train station. And there's lots more spikes to deal with in this version. But again, same theme music, same overall theme and style of enemies, just a little different. Alright. P-chips. Ow. At least they have the common decency to leave after they hit me. Alright. Uh, well, at least I'm not dead. That seems like a pretty long jump. Oh, I remember what happened the last time I trusted Rush. I died. Let's do it again. Oh, I was trying. I was spamming the buttons to slide. P-chips. Too bad they weren't all large P-chips, but whatever. Interesting thing about those train mats, if you leave them alone for long enough, they'll eventually just disappear and destroy themselves. Now, you see those blocks there? Yeah, well, I don't have the weapon to destroy them. Do you know what weapon destroys these blocks here? The charge kick. You know who I get the charge kick from? Charge Man. Tell me that's not retarded level design. I need the weapon I get from this level to get the items in this level. Really? Like, I'm pretty sure I got better things to do with my time than do Charge Man's level again. Just silly. Uh, I just, I just don't, fine, do it, Mega Man. Just barely, I see. P-chips? Yeah, that's right. Is there something up there? Oh my god, there's an E-tank up here. Suspicious... Ow! Suspicious area leaves the, leads to goodies. Don't know what these egg things came back off of. I mean, it's just a drop on the other side, as we see right there. But hey, I'll take a free E-tank. Why not? Holy crap, how am I supposed to get that? I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is the hardest letter in the... G oh, wait. Oh, okay, wait a second. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that one... It's like they didn't even try. Like, the level was done, and they're like, Ah, crap, we forgot to put the letter in here. We were supposed to put it in that hidden area. We put the E-tank. Eh, just put it somewhere. Whatevs. Obviously, I'm missing something. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Unless I get Rush Jet later and I can slide off of him. I can't believe how much these chickens and their eggs bog the game down. The game slows down so much when they're on screen. Ah! I hate those jumps. It looks like I'm not going to make them. All right, let's see. Power Stone is better in this game, so let's give it a chance. I won't let anyone say I don't give it a chance. Not that it deserves a chance. Ow. Ow. Charge Man spends a... Ah, just kill me. Charge Man spends a significant amount of this fight invincible, just like in the NES version of Mega Man uh, 5, which he's in. With, yeah, Power Stone shooting three stones instead of two 
It's definitely easier to hit him. Ja! But those stupid little things are still random. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, God! Yeah, it's just easier to use the Mega Buster. Definitely just easier. Come. Meet your death. Alright, less failure in that video. Still some failure, but definitely less. And we got Charge Kick. Slightly less terrible in this version of the game than the NES version. It's got a slightly longer range, and you're not quite as likely to kill yourself while using it. I want to go back to Stone Man stage and see what was in that area I couldn't slide into. But I'll see everybody next time. I mean, if the Stone Man stage has anything super awesome in it, I'll show you. But otherwise, I'll see you next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. What a pain to get up here. He had to use Rush Jet with pr absolute precision. That ladder down there is right off that, um, where that ladder, that hard to get ladder was. You have to come through here, kill that guy. It took me like five minutes using Rush Jet to get him over here so I could slide through this crack to get up here, to get over here, to get up to this ladder. Which just leads to an E-Tank. Not worth it. Skip it. You're going to die trying to get it without save states. Now, anyway, that really is going to do it for this time. I'll see you next time, everyone.